I'm Lakshmi Karan. I'm a director of impact assessment at the Skoll Foundation. Um, we're based in Palo Alto, California, and we focus on supporting social entrepreneurs. You know, when we started uh, the foundation, and Jeff Skoll, who's the first president of eBay, uh, funded the Skoll Foundation, the real focus was looking for innovative solutions that disrupt the status quo. And we found organizations that have this approach to be entrepreneurial in how they are approaching the challenges. So social entrepreneurship is really a field where you have organizations with innovative solutions and trying to disrupt an issue. Um, we fund social entrepreneurs in many issue areas. It can be health, economic equity, sustainability, human rights. You know, um, it's issue agnostic. What we're really interested in is an innovative business model. And, and Riders for Health is falls squarely in that in terms of addressing the issue of the last mile of healthcare delivery. When we look for you know, candidates for the school awards, um, it's really looking at do they have something new, something innovative. And by innovation, we don't mean just a product. You know, it can be a process or it can be um, a geographic specific challenge. Um, for writers and writers for health, it was, it was more about their approach to looking at infrastructure deficits in healthcare. Uh, we've heard many funders talk about you know, the systems challenge in healthcare. A lot of money gets going into developing vaccines and the biggest problem is how do you get them to people. And Riders for Health kind of came up with what seemed to be a very simple, logical solution of how to get medical supplies or you know, medical capacity to rural communities. And um, what really attracted us to Riders was the sustainability aspect of it the uh, earned revenue aspect of it and saying it's not just a handout that they get from, from their donors, but they're, they're starting to build a model that can tap into different revenue opportunities, um, even in developing countries, even within cash-strapped governments um, that may not have a lot of funding. And how do you build a model ground up, tapping into available resources and build efficiency in healthcare delivery? So I think, I think it's a combination of the innovation um, it's a combination of the business model, of how they deploy this innovation, and it's also, you know, how they work. Um, you know, Writers for Health works in Africa and many countries, and, and we really like their emphasis on local staff owning this work. You know, it's not a bunch of expats taking something that works in the West and saying, here's the solution for Africa. But it's, it's really, you know, um, developing the knowledge from the ground and saying, how can local capacity be strengthened? How can the governments be strengthened and be, be made more efficient to serve their own people? So I think it's just, it's a combination of it and it's a perfect example of what we would call a social enterprise.